Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode 10 of our Timberborn playthrough. If you guys are new to the series, definitely check out some of the other videos. Consider subscribing to the channel so you can stay up to date on this series as well as some of my others. And consider leaving a like and a comment. It really helps out the engagement on the video as well as, as well as it's just motivating to see. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and do a quick recap and then we'll get into the video. Okay, so just to catch everybody up, we have been working to dynamite off this hilltop here. So we can just go ahead and get that going. Once we get this dynamited off, we're going to start to cut some channels in here. This is going to be our, our uh, what do we want to call it? Timber, I guess our timber area. Just going to go ahead and uh, clear off some of that. We'll go in here and uh, get some more dynamite laid. Make sure that that's in range. Okay, and I was actually going to rename this. This is going to be Timberton. Because it is going to be our timber producing area. And then I think once this gets fully established and we get tons of timber coming in, I'll probably replace this tier of logs up here with more crops. Um, but uh, Elena Chana, and I really hope I pronounced that name right, brought up a great point, which is we can unlock the beehive. It's only 400 science, so we will go ahead and get that unlocked, and we can start to place these. So I just kind of want to get a general idea of, and essentially the beehive, for those not familiar, it boosts the production of nearby crops. Now, I'm not sure if it would work on something like dandelions. I don't think it would, um, but it might, and I just kind of want to gauge how big this is going to be. Something else that I was also thinking. So if we come in here, we can actually regain a lot of uh, land to grow on. If we came in here and actually placed our paths inside of this facility. So if we were to come along and do something like that, and then come through and delete all of those paths, like that, we could actually gain, you know, a whole little area that we could plant more potatoes. Let's go ahead and get that planted. And we're going to kind of bounce back and forth between getting the, uh, the dynamite laid down here and getting stuff planted up and, uh, you know, doing some smaller projects back on the main, the main capital area, if you will. But if we get this stuff built, uh, that will allow us to better utilize the space. And then similarly, if we come along here and we actually place some platforms in here, we can plant uh, some more crops. And I don't really see a need to do it on that side, but we will do it on this side. So we'll come along here, we'll get these paths laid. I'm not going to back this out because deleting this whole thing and rebuilding it would just be a nightmare. Um, but for now, I think we'll, we'll just roll with it. And then we will similarly bring our paths through here. Down like that, which means we can go ahead and delete these. So that's still connected. And then we can delete these because that will still be connected. And then we'll have this kind of, you know, square area in here. That'll be okay. But what that'll allow us to do is come in here, I believe, are these potatoes? Yes, they are. So we can go ahead and plant some more potatoes. But we have the beehive unlocked. So let's kind of start to place some beehives. So I just kind of want to gauge. So like that's the edge right here. So we want it in this row. And why don't we just go kind of halfway back? So we want it right there, right in this nook. So let's go into deleting things and maybe, maybe if I take that one out and let's prioritize that. So if we go back into the beehive, so it's three tiles on each side. So that will reach one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it won't cover down here, but that's okay. Um, so now if we go three over, 
and then another three, we would want a beehive there. But if we do it here, so up three, over three, if I put a beehive in there, would that reach? It should, because I come down four. So over here, that's what we want to destroy. So let's come in here and get rid of that one. Yeah, so we can get a beehive in there. Then we'll get one in there. And then similarly, we'll just come over three. So one, two, three. Can I place it on the... Can I place this on a, uh, on a structure? I don't know. Do I have like a levee or something that's uncovered? Ground only. It must be built on the ground. Okay. So with that in mind, we can come over here and we'll remove that one. And then we could probably get one in here, maybe? Let's get those and let's get that beehive built. Okay, so let's see how they're doing with the dynamite. They're doing pretty good. So we can go ahead and get that built. We can delete that. Run a path straight through there. And then get this dynamite laid so that they can come over here and take that off. Um, and then similarly, I was actually thinking, if we get rid of that, and just so we can maximize our growable land in here, why don't we run this path down here? And this is totally unnecessary, but I'm going to uh, delete that little column there. But I think that'll work. Okay, so let's go ahead and speed this up so that we can get this stuff working. And then similarly, probably just delete this path right here. It's not needed. So they'll come through here, get this stuff built, and I'm going to come in here and throw in some beehives there and there. So we're not getting any coverage down here. Um, I could throw the beehive in down here though. Similarly, I could throw it in down here, and that would get the coverage. But I don't really like that. It's not, uh, I don't really find it that realistic. Um, so I guess we'll handle, like, the carrots now. So if we come in here, we want to come up four, and then over three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we'll come there. Prioritize those. And we'll see if I come into the beehive now. If I put one, like, there... That would get coverage of the rest of these. So let's get rid of that one. And this is great. We, uh, we've got our path laid. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to delete out all of that. And then I'm actually going to get rid of these. And I'm going to shift those down. So those are... Lumberjacks? No, gatherers. Yeah, dandelions. I think we'll be fine with only three of those. So then why don't we get some more dandelions planted in there. And then one thing that I actually realized while I was editing my last video is I have some cutting space under, <laughs> under those buildings, which is, again, it's not... Uh, you certainly can add the cutting space under the buildings. I just don't like to. So we'll get those selected. And then we can go ahead and unpause all of these. And hopefully start to get tons of logs coming in. Man, they are really working on this... Uh, on this down here. And that is great to see. Our paths are coming along, so let's uh, continue to get rid of some of these paths. Something like that. Get a beehive in there. 
And unfortunately, I think I'm gonna shift these over one so I can get that. So let's come in here. Let's clear those. And then let's plant some potatoes in here. Okay, and now if I put this in here, that gets coverage. Oh, and that will actually get full coverage. Okay, so we will build those. And let's prioritize these beehives. That is too far from a district, but once they get this built, it should be fine. So one, two, three, one, two, three. If we delete this one, that should work. So let's get that taken out of there. Okay, let's see how we're doing on the dynamite. We are doing pretty good. So we'll get that cleared off and we are almost there. Let's see if I can get them to come pick these up. I don't know if we have the storage for it. Yeah, we do not. So we'll just get rid of those so that they're out of the way. here. Get that built. And now we're going to want some stairs here. And then we're going to want a way to get over. So we'll want a path in there like that. And then we'll also want a path up here. Okay, nice. So now these beehives are working. We got pretty good coverage here. Um, truthfully, should I bump this up one and then maybe put one like all the way down here so I can get full coverage? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So I'll go there and there and then maybe I don't know if they can clear that out. That's logs, paper, they should. But okay, so now I'll put that there, that there, and then now where do I want this one? I think right there would get full coverage in here. So let's get rid of that. Let's plant some more potatoes in there. They can get to that, which is good. And go ahead and get a beehive in there, beehive in there. I don't know if I can get all the way down here. Let me see. If I put a path down like that. Maybe delete those. Let's see. Okay, so this is... I think this is working pretty pretty well. Getting a lot of beehives up here. That's great. Uh, we can also... Oh, man. So we're in a drought, and I didn't even notice. So I completely forgot to stop these from pumping. So we need to go ahead and get some water back in here. Hopefully this stuff didn't die. It did. <laughs> it completely died. That's outstanding. Um, we can go ahead and bring that back up. Hopefully I didn't waste too much water. Yeah, I wasted a little bit. That's okay. Well, we're going to be doing fine for water on this, uh, on this drought. That's for sure. Let's come in here. Let's get that beehive in there. And then once they get this built should be able to reach right out here. So let's kind of see where I would want this. So somewhere in line here. And if I go one, two, three, take that out. It is too far. Let's see if it's still too far once they build that. Hopefully not. Yep. That is in range. So let's get that taken out. 
and that should greatly improve our uh, food production. Okay, so let's continue detonating this out. Let's detonate that. And then let's run this down here. And I might just pull a path straight across there. dynamite the last little bit off of this and we should be good to go uh, this district is doing just fine on food and water um, we are still pumping here which is interesting we've still got plenty of water so I say we just let them let them keep going and now we can go ahead and throw our last beehive in here that gets almost complete coverage there's just a couple over there that aren't covered and that's okay But I think that that is going to help quite a bit with uh, everything that we got going on here. We did get all this stuff replanted. Water is uh, holding strong. We still got two days left, but we got plenty of water up in here. We did lose the water uh, necessary for the Lido's, but that's okay. And we're doing pretty good. So now... The next big project that we're going to have, um, first of all, I'm going to add in maybe two sections of storage here. Um, and this is just kind of like planning, trying to plan ahead. So we're going to want some storage here like that. Let's make sure we bring this path through. And then we'll want path on top. Just trying to maximize the storage. Don't know what I'm going to store here yet, but just trying to get it built. Um, and the big reason for this is that I want to continue this path along here so that we can continue our channel down here. Now, how do I want to do these stairs? So if I do stairs like that... I guess I could do stairs like that. And then... do stairs like that. Yeah, that would work. So then that's all connected. Perfect. Yeah, I like that. I like how that's working. Um, now again, don't know what I'm going to store in here. That's not really the point. Uh, the main point is that I need to be able to get over here so that I can clear this out. So we'll probably have a couple ways to get up here. One of them can be that. Pull that path in there. And that's actually going to be in the wrong place. So instead, why don't we continue this up? Come up like that. Because I'm going to continue the levees down here. So that we have a channel of water coming down here and it will meet up with a similar channel coming from this direction. Let's get that cleared out. And since we have such an excess of dynamite, I'm just going to dynamite off those little, uh, those little edges down there. Um, let's see how we are doing for logs. We have a ton of logs. Um, we are getting a ton cut down up here. We did lose a little bit of water in here, which is a little concerning. Not sure how that happened. I'm also just going to raise this up because I, I kind of realized that if this overflows, it's just completely flooding down onto this uh, 
onto this area down here. I would love to replace it with levees. I just I don't know how I would make that happen. Let's get rid of those. Hopefully they'll come down here and pick these up. Not sure if they will. But that is okay. So now, resources for demolition. Let's get rid of all of those. Hopefully they'll come up here and get that done. Still doing okay on water. Water is about to return. Um, we did lose some of these trees, but they can last 12 days uh, before they run out. So I think we're okay. Now in this district, we do have 24 unemployed beavers. So I'm gonna go into labor um, and we're gonna add a bunch of hauling posts throughout here just to kind of improve our um, just to improve our ability to move goods around. Um, and what do I have these set on? Yeah, these are medium work priority. So I think that that's going to work. We can also go ahead and get rid of this guy. And then we can come up here and dynamite the top off of this. So that took care of quite a few of our unemployments or our vacant workers. Uh, I believe these are planks. We have no storage for them, so I'm just going to get rid of them. And then let's go ahead and get rid of this path right here. So this is the basis of our um, forestry area. And we are going to want a nice series of channels through here. So maybe something like that. Let's see, this is going to run down here. Something like that. So let's see how much of that they can get laid. Um, and then we will just continue to work. Now, I'm only going to dynamite this down one level. And we'll just do the rest with levees. So I'll want a double channel of levees there. And the water is returning in earnest. It's flooding this whole area. Uh, that's okay. This is why we want to get this built. So let's come in here now. Let's get those pumps back up and running. Let's see how we're doing for... So we have two uh, vacant jobs in this district. And we have six unemployed in this district. But we are going to get foresters at some point. So that is okay. I'm not overly concerned about that. Now, let's come down here and let's think about some more beehives. So, one, two, three, four. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So we want to get rid of that one. One, two, three. One, two, three. So beehives there and there should cover this whole section. Four up and over. Beehive there. One, two, three, one, two, three. So ideally a beehive would go there. Uh, so I'll just put it there. So let's see how we do for coverage. And this should be okay. We're going to have a little gap right here. That's okay. That's not the end of the world. Um, and then let's come through here now. So that's one, two, three, four. That's three. So we'll go there. There. And there. To cover this whole section. And that should really increase our raw food. So that's great. Getting the beehives. Getting the beehives in. Okay, so let's dynamite this out. 
I uh, didn't even check to see if they had already built those, uh, but they did. These are too far, um, which is kind of unfortunate. So if I maybe... do something like that, I can bring this path around. And then I should be able to get rid of... all of that. Now, I don't know if they'll pick these up. They should. They might not. I'm not sure. So let's detonate that. Get a little channel in here. Now this one, I am going to bring down to uh, full depth. So we can go ahead and get working on that. And then we're going to want some levees up here. So I'll do two sections of levees here. Um, and then I might do like triple there. Something like that. Let's just make sure that this is in range. It is. Let's get this dynamite laid. Let's see how we're doing. We still got plenty of explosives over here. This kind of irks me. <laughs> it's not in line. Uh, so we'll just do that. Get rid of that. We will detonate that. And now I think I need to go down one more level. Yes, I do. So let's come in here. Let's go down one more level. Get that opened up. Okay. And now, uh, Builder's Hut. I could probably go with one more Builder's Hut down here. So let's go with Builder's Hut, and where do I want to get that? Maybe right here. Kind of totally ridiculous, um, but that's okay. So we'll do that. And let's get that built so we can get more builders. Okay, so let's uh, come back down here. Let's get our remaining beehives in to get full coverage down here. And again, we're going to miss out on a little bit over here, but that's okay. And then let's come down here and take a look at our wheat field. So if I come up, one, two, three, four. I want one there. One there. And one there. That should provide coverage there. Uh, one, two, three. One there. One, two, three. One, two, three. One there. Actually, I'm going to put it there. Nope, don't demolish that. I think it's too late. That's fine, I can just replant it. Uh, wheat. There. And that's too far from district center. That's okay. We'll, I'm sure we'll get to that eventually. Oh, and I thought that that would overlap there. So I actually want to delete that one. And replant the wheat there. Yeah, 
And since we have a ton of dynamite in here, I'm just going to dynamite that out. Totally useless, but kind of allows me to store a little bit more water in there. Um, and let's come back down here. Let's see how they're doing. They're doing great. So we'll get that dynamited out. Let's get this last bit of dynamite laid. And we have these on medium low priority. So that is okay. And we can go ahead and unpause those so they can start building those. Okay, so this is looking good. Now, we're going to want double levees in here. And I'm going to fill that up with levees. And I might do something like that. And then if I get a... Gonna get a path in there. So we can cross over and hopefully get all that stuff built. And let's see how we're doing on the dynamite. This should be our final depth for the channel. And then if we come in here, I'm going to put a triple floodgate right there. And that will allow me to kind of control the water in here. So in the event of a drought, we should be okay. And now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take a triple platform and run it all the way down there and I'm going to put a path on it. So that is a lot of building going on down here. But this is going to allow me to plant a ton of trees. A ton. So if we get a forester in here, I think we'll probably want two. So maybe foresters there and there. That looks pretty good. And then we're going to want some lumberjack flags. And they don't have to build those yet. I'm just kind of mapping them out. So those are all paused now. So they can focus on the other stuff. And we have a trapped beaver. How? How did you get trapped? Get out of there. There we go. Man, these beavers. Build that before anybody else wanders up there. Like a crazy person. Okay, and we are completely out of logs. Um, which is kind of to be expected. We have a lot of levees coming in here. And now we're going to want... Something like that, I think. I see no reason not to do that. Now, for this one... I might have to do that also on this side so that they can actually build it. I don't know if they can build that. It also kind of looks cool. Right? Kinda. Kinda looks cool. I would almost love to be able to continue up this side. Something like that. That looks pretty cool. And this will provide just excess water. So in the event that we need to drain a bit of water to get down there, we should be able to, no problem. And then down here, 
Just remembering our beehives, and I might be able to get like one more in here, but honestly, it's probably fine. We have, com we're completely maxed out on our storage of wheat, so it's really not a huge issue. Continue to dynamite out this little edge here. Um, and then I am actually going to remove those because I'm going to run a path down here. Let's check on all of our resources. So paper, we are short on paper. Um, we're also short on explosives, probably because we're shipping them all over to uh, that other region. And we're also doing stupid projects like this. But what that does mean though, is we could probably do for maybe one more paper mill. just to really improve the, uh, the paper processing in here. Um, we do have 18 vacancies. I imagine those are probably builders? No, science, yeah, it's all of our science. Or I guess 18, so it's gotta be science and something else. Yeah, science and builders. But we do have 20 children in this region, so we should be okay. completely devoid of logs in this region. Just want to make sure that I'm still shipping them over. I am, and planks and explosives. We're just going to come in here to the district limits. So we're pretty good for explosives now with this district. So I'm going to set the max at maybe 60. Maybe 50. I don't really think that we're going to be doing that much more dynamiting in this region, at least not not in the immediate future, but uh, providing, providing some level of explosives would be smart. Now, do we want to send them another food? We could do that. Let's see what we got. We got tons of grilled potatoes. So I might come in here and set a grilled potato limit. Um, so we have a storage of carrots down here. Um, we could set this next one to store grilled potatoes. And then let's come in here and set a district limit. So 150, 250 is what we had for the carrots. So why don't we do the same for grilled potatoes? 150, 250. And then if we come into this distribution post, we can add a new route. We can deliver them grilled potatoes. Perfect. And if I had the workers for it, I'd probably add on another distribution post. But I think for now, we are okay. And interestingly, by adding in that those stairs there, they're actually going to come down and help build. Although I think I think that they've about helped all that they can. They're pretty much not in reach anymore for anything that we're building over here. Um, but that is okay. That is not the end of the world, certainly. So we're almost in range of being able to build all this extra dynamite down or. Uh, Fill in all this extra dynamite down here, which is good. We are building the houses here. I would love to get another set of houses in here. I'm going to pause both of those. Then if we come in here... set of stairs up there, um, but let's kind of come through here and just prioritize 
some of this. That is the lowest priority of anything that I'm asking you to build. This is the priority. I mean, I don't really know why that's the priority, but it, it just is. It just is. Okay. So this is going really well. Um, we have tons of raw food coming in, which is great. Um, we do have tons of processing for our food. We're making more paper, which was kind of the only thing that we were a little bottlenecked on. Um, making a good amount of explosives. You can go ahead and detonate that out. Detonate that out. We're going to have to do one more round in here. And then we can continue to take the top off up here. But that's kind of an at your leisure. At your leisure thing. This is set at two and a half, which is good. And now we can go ahead and continue to dynamite this out. And they're doing really good with this. Now let's see, we got some grilled potatoes. Not a, not a bad amount, not a non-zero quantity of grilled potatoes. Let's get this other house built. Uh, just because we have no vacant beds here, so they're not going to be reproducing. Really liking how this is going, though. Uh, we have tons of logs. This is nearly full. Uh, if we come up here, we can store 2,500. 2,520, and we have 1,679, so we're doing pretty good with the log storage. Um, we can kind of see on some of our other things, water. We're almost maxed out on water, which is outstanding. Um, we are doing pretty well, I would say. Pretty well. Come in here. Detonate that out. And now, this is kind of where it's going to get a little interesting. We're going to run this down here and then maybe uh, take a little turn and bring it into there. So we'll kind of let them do as much as they can. Yeah, they can't get to this one and that's okay. But we are going to... Let's see, how do we want to do this? I'm thinking that we might, uh, we might do levees to make up that distance. So if we take some levees... Just bring them like that. Go ahead and detonate that out. And now we just need to continue our path down here. Something like that. Okay. So let's go ahead and get these unpaused. So they can get those built. And we're doing pretty good. Continue to get this dynamited out. Get a set of stairs up there. Don't know if I'm going to need a path, but I'll just throw one in. We can take the top off, off, off of this. And then that will give us a nice pad to build on. Not sure what we're going to build up there, but I'm sure we will build something. And that's the important part, is that we will build something. Also going to take those down. Should 
should be able to reach all of those. And we are doing pretty good. Still no logs here. And these guys have nothing to do in range, so let's give them something to do. We are going to plant a ton of maples. This entire area will be maples. Um, not sure if I'm going to plant in here. I might. I might. We can plant maples in there. Yeah, we'll plant maples like that. And now if we come into our cutting area, we just need to mark all of this for cutting. So we will go ahead and do that. Not placing it under the buildings, because I don't know, that just uh, kind of annoys me. Not sure why. Perfect, so now that whole thing is marked for cutting. And we are getting maples in here, and that is going to be perfect. That's gonna provide a tremendous amount of wood in addition to all of this. And then I'm thinking that considering that this is kind of our, our tree area, I'll probably start to plant some trees up here that we won't harvest, we will tap for resources. Now, where are we going to put the log piles? That is a good question. Why don't we quickly before they, I don't know if it's that big, but an underground pile. Yeah, we'll put one there, right in the center so that they can just fill that up. And then we can actually go ahead and get rid of this one once they get that built. But they are going to need gears for that. Just 40. So I'll come in here to distribution limits. I'll let them have zero, but let's have them always have 40. 40 gears. Or deliver it until they have 40. And I'm kind of thinking that we need another distribution post. So let's go into labor. And let's get another distribution post in here. And we will decorate around it. And then we'll make one of these maybe for food and water, and then the other for resources in general. And let's see how much these can store. These store 30. I could store gears in there. I don't think I need a medium warehouse for just gears. Let's see, is there a... Yeah, so why don't we put gears in here? We'll get that built right away. But anyway, guys, I think this is going to bring us to the end of this episode. This was a lot of fun. We got a lot of stuff done. Uh, thank you again, Elena, for the uh, suggestion regarding the beehives. I had completely forgotten about the beehives. Um, so that is a huge help. I really appreciate it. Uh, before we go, I'll just remember to put in a little bit more dynamite there. And we can go ahead and plant some wheat down there. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video and you made it this far, definitely consider subscribing to the channel so you can stay up to date on all future videos, as well as leave a like and a comment. It really helps out with the engagement on the video so more people can see it, as well as it's just motivating to see. And I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.